sharp pain. The room spun around like it had come on him. Then everything blurred like ink on a blotter. I tried to say something, but my tongue was a wad of cotton in my mouth. Then there was nothing. This is The Hill, an action story of the one thrilling moment in a man's life that can only be called High Adventure. is High Adventure, the telling of strange stories of strong men living the greatest and most exciting moment of a lifetime, their moment of high adventure. And on the agenda at this meeting is a story of savage action called The Hill, the author and director, Elliot Drake. And to tell it, here's the man who lived it, Dave Wilson. All the other guys said I was crazy, said it wouldn't be the same, the war being over and everything, but I did it anyway. Yeah, they all went home to their wives and families, and I signed up again. And why shouldn't I? Staff sergeant's pay wasn't bad. It was a five-day week, 30 days furlough a year, and retirement at the end of 20 if you wanted it. it. Wasn't a bad life. Maybe the Joes weren't the smartest guys in the world, but they were better than nothing. At least you could always find somebody that felt like doing what you wanted to do. Things didn't change much. A little more chicken, maybe. You had to stand an extra drill a week, but you can get used to anything. Had a couple of letters from guys I knew during the war telling me what a tough time they were having reconverting to civilian life. Then pretty soon they stopped writing, and that was that. Wasn't like the old outfit, but it was good enough. Hi, David. Low hill, Billy. Better hustle, boy, if you want to make a treat. Too hot. Ought to be a regulation about not holding retreat when it's over 80. Sure, we'll cut an order on it tomorrow. Move over. Mm, sure. Hey. You got a good sack here. I know the supply, Sergeant. Ought to try that load of straw I sleep on. I'll see if I can fix you up. It's the trouble with this army all the time you got to know somebody to get something. Now, back in the old outfit... There you go again. <laughs> okay. What'd the lieutenant say? Nothing much. I think you got him all figured out wrong. Yeah? He can't help it if he's fresh out of the point. That kind of stuff is okay back in the States, but I out here... I know, I know. I got a look at his 201 file today. Nothing but excellence and superiors all the way through. I could have guessed. Maybe after he's been here a while, Not you'll... him. He crawl all over you? No, he just said all non-coms will stand retreat. Did, huh? Yeah. Maybe we better get humping. Hillbilly. Huh? Where do you say we take off? Mean over the hill? I'd like to. Oh, cool off. You'll forget all about it in a couple of days. It ain't that. What then? I don't know. Nothing ever happens around here. It's a spit and polish army if I ever saw one. Parade rest. You need a furlough. Yeah, I guess so. Three years in one place is too much for anybody. Remember last year? Man, I thought we never would get you back to the post. Yeah. That's what I'll do. What? Put in for a furlough back to the States. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Then I got it five minutes. You can before. tell Lieutenant Small. You... Oh, you got a wrong idea, Dave. Ray three, she's the same. Ah. Uh, that's the time You've been you... reading the handbook again. Better leave him alone, Angelo. He's not feeling so good. Oh. Well, better you hurry just the same. He will. Lieutenant, he's a safe fallout with the rifles tonight. What? That's right. That does it. And bayonets. Is Ow. he going to inspect? I don't know. Criminy, I ain't cleaned my rifle in two weeks. Only got it five minutes. He got any oil, David? You know the supply, Sergeant. Oh. That's the one thing a good soldier takes care of. Come on, come on. Where Some is it? Some in my foot locker. Thanks. Got any patches? Top shelf. Gee, if he just don't inspect. Here, give me that thing. I'll clean your rifle if you'll shine my brass. Sure, give me a buckle. Here. Now, oh, what'd I do with a bit On the for? bunk. Oh, oh. Yeah. How you guys making out, huh? We'll make it. Wonder where Flaherty is. Probably over at the PX drinking beer. I could use one. Hot enough. This thing's so rusty that... Then you ain't cleaned this buckle for a month, neither. Buckle make a soldier. I've had a look. It'll do. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. There. It ain't good, but it ain't bad. Thanks. Come on, you guys. <laughs> hey, hey, how's my pilot? Stinks. Hurry up. This joint's for the birds. Korea. Saturday, June 24th. I took off on a weekend pass right after retreat. 
The next morning it happened. Hidden by a thick ground mist, the North Koreans broke through the line along the 38th parallel and started pushing south for Seoul. It wasn't no maneuver. Soon as I heard the news, I beat it back to MAM headquarters, uh, military advisory mission headquarters for instructions. When I got there, the place looked like a cyclone had hit it. Trucks and equipment all over the place and everyone moving on the double. I ran into Hillbilly over by the communications shack. Where you been, David? In town, what's up? We're pulling out. What time? Take it easy with that stuff. What'd you say? When are we leaving? You stupid jerks, I better get on them. Get over to office, David. Lieutenant wants to see you. Yeah. You want to see me, Lieutenant? That the way you address an officer, Sergeant? Huh? Oh. That's better? Yes, sir. You probably heard the news. Yes, sir. Unit's been ordered south to Suwan. Johnny Howard, Ailey Red Road, 10 minutes, sir. Good. I'll have the march order typed up by then. Yes, sir. March order, sir? That's right. Yes, sir. Headquarters is cutting another order, putting us on special duty. Us? We've been assigned to set up an observation post in the forward area. Yeah. You're the most experienced man in the outfit. Yes, sir. How's it going up there? Hard to say. Most of the lines are down. A lot of reports coming back, but they're all conflicting. Sounds normal. Huh? Yes. Well, it doesn't look good at any rate. Never does. Huh. You go down to the motor pool and sign out the communications jeep. Yes, sir. And then get over to the supply room and draw two forty-five pistols. If you don't mind, sir, I'd just as soon keep my M1 if we're going up Sergeant, to... we are non-combatants. Forty-fives will do. But, Lieutenant... That's all, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Better draw some rations from the mess hall while you're over there. For how many men, sir? Just the two of us. That all, sir? Yes, Sergeant. Get going now. Yes, sir. Sergeant! Yes, sir. Oh. Better. On the double. Yes, sir. towards the fighting. The roads were jammed with civilians leaving the battle area. Some of them were on carts, a couple were lucky and had trucks, but most of them were traveling by foot. The women were carrying their belongings on their heads and their babies strapped to their backs. The men and the kids that were old enough to walk were driving their goats and cows ahead of them and dragging the few things they'd saved behind them. I saw one little fellow with a chair tied on his back and the chair piled high with all kinds of pots and pans. Funny the things people hang on to at a time like that. When we got further north, we started running into soldiers coming back from the fighting. There wasn't no panic. Most of them were calm, just retreating south in long lines down both sides of the road. Some of them were shot up pretty bad. As we rode by them, a couple of them waved. All of them smiled like the lieutenant and me was going to win the war for them. I kept looking for regrouping areas, but there didn't seem to be none. Then there were no more soldiers, and we had the road to ourselves. We'll be getting up here now. Yes. How far are we gone? 45 miles. Won't be long. Storm coming up. Huh? Thunder. Storm coming up. Yeah. We'll set up the observation post in that town ahead. Lieutenant. Yes, Wilson. Back in Europe, we I'll always... make the decision, Sergeant. Sometimes you'll Sergeant. find... Sergeant. Yes, sir. Coming up fast. Uh-huh. Let us start looking for... Duck. Funny kind of lightning. That's artillery fire. Better get going, Lieutenant. Be more along in a minute. What? Always lay them down in a pattern. Yes, yes. Down. noisy. Yeah. Been a couple of years since I heard it. You get used to it. I suppose so. I don't like it. What? Being inside their fire. Just a few stray shells? Maybe. You planning on driving right into that town, sir? That's right. I wouldn't if I was you. Wilson. Going into a town you don't know nothing about is the surest they way They can't be I'm... this far south. 
Rather be out in the open myself. We'll be all right. But, Lieutenant... Besides, we're non-combatants. They won't fire on us. Yes, sir. Keep an eye out now, Sergeant. Huh? I want to talk to one of the villagers. Oh, yeah. They'll know how far... Lieutenant, at least slow down, will you? You worry too much, Wilson. No one in sight. Nope. Villagers must have cleared out. They usually do. What? Oh. Really worked this place over. Yeah. Guys handling that artillery ain't no rookies. They know what they're doing. Must we be better somewhere. get out of here. What's the matter? They ain't far off, that's for sure. Well, we're 15 miles from the line. I know, but just Oh, the they same. couldn't have gotten this far in one day. Listen, Lieutenant, I can smell... Watch those. what you're saying, I Wilson. don't give what... I can see you... Look out! Hang hey. around! Uh, hurry up. They see us. Get going. Keep down. They're after us. Go left, go left. Think they hit us. What's the matter? Puts all the way down to the floor. Keep it there. There they are again. Got a tire. And a gas can leaking all over. Puts all the way. Right, go right. Now I'll get rid of that can. That lousy strap. There. We lose them? I don't know. Hang on. Head out of town. Yeah. Left, left, left. Now let her go. We're leaving them. Non-combatants. We didn't know which way we were headed, but it wasn't no time to be fussy. The jeep was shot up bad, and we wanted ground between us and that tank before she broke down. When we started hitting hills, I tried to tell the lieutenant we were going the wrong way, but he said he knew what he was doing. By the time it got dark, we were up in the mountains. The jeep was having a tougher time on every hill, and finally she couldn't take no more. Just stopped cold. We pushed her off the road, and I strapped the radio on my back, and we started off into the brush. This is good enough, Wilson. Huh? We'll camp here for the night. Suits me. This thing's getting heavy. Sea rations are going to taste like Sergeant? steak. Yeah? Contact headquarters first. I wouldn't do that. Why not? We don't know where we are. Might give away our... I'm responsible. What good will it do us? It's procedure. You can turn it on if you want Sergeant. to. Sergeant. Look, Lieutenant, if I thought you knew what turn you were doing... Turn on the radio. Okay. There are too many men like you in the service, Wilson. Yeah? Because you've had some experience in the field, you think you're a regimental commander. Maybe. You need a good lesson in discipline. Contact headquarters. Yes, sir. Baker Blue, Colin Sugar, Abel Tear. Baker Blue, Colin Sugar, Abel Tear. Come in, Sugar, Abel Tear. Over. Try them again. Baker Blue, Colin Sugar, Abel Tear. Baker Blue, Colin Sugar, Abel Tear. Come in, Sugar, Abel Tear. Over. The 610s ain't much good over 75 miles. We'll get them. Try again. Sugar, Abel Tear, calling Baker are. Blue. Sugar, Abel Tear, calling Baker Blue. We'll read you loud and clear. Come in, Baker Blue. Over. That you, Hillbilly? Yeah, David. Where you been? We've been busy. Where are you? Don't know. We ain't where we're supposed to be. What's new? Nothing much. Things don't look good. How's it up there? Bad. We've been sub... I'll talk to him, Wilson. Yes, sir. Uh, Sergeant Howard, take this message for the CO. Yes, sir. Tell him that to the best of our knowledge, we are behind... What's the matter with you? Shut up. Wilson, shut up, I said. What is that? Someone between us and the road. How could anybody? Must have heard the jeep. But I... Shut up. Other side. 
Dark. Get down. It's a signal. Below us, too. Yeah. Put that gun away, Wilson. Nuts. We're non-combatants. Yeah, they don't know that. Give me that gun. You're crazy. That's an order. Give me that gun. Are you rank happy jerk? Give it to me. I'm clearing out. If they start shooting, I'm shooting back. Wilson, if you fire one shot, I'll throw the book at you when we get back. If we get back. If you're coming, you're going to stay, Smoyer. I'll have you caught, Marshal. have to run for it. Which way? Up the hill, only way open. The radio. Leave it. Come on. Down. Now. Down. Now. Keep going. Yeah. Where? I don't know. Get going. Can you walk? Sonoro. Give me your arm. Have you Shut caught? Up. Picked him up, half carried him, half dragged him up the hill. Branches slapped at my face and chest. My back ached from the weight of him. A couple of times I tripped and fell, but somehow I got up again. My legs were like water under me, and I kept thinking one more step, one more step. The firing was dropping away behind me, and then it started raining. I don't know how long or how far I ran, but all of a sudden I realized there was no more shooting, and I fell to the wet ground. At first there was blackness, then in the blackness I felt warmth on the back of my neck, on my arms. The ground was cool against my face, but I could feel the sweat running down my body under my shirt. I tried to turn over, but something was pinning me to the ground. Then I remembered the lieutenant and the rain and falling in the mud. I pushed again, and this time the lieutenant's body slid off me. I rolled over and opened my eyes. The sun blinded me as I sat up and I covered my face with my hands. When I opened my eyes again, I saw him. He was standing five or six feet away from us with his hands folded in front of him. He was wearing a long white robe, and his white hair was piled up high in a tight knot on top of his head. He had a thin beard that was stained at the corners of his mouth. He was tall and thin and old. The lieutenant moved oh. and groaned next oh. to me. I knew you would come. Huh? You are Americans, yes? Stay where you are. I will not harm you. I've been waiting for you. Don't move. Lieutenant. Lieutenant, can you hear me? Oh. Come on, come on. He is sick? I'll take care of him. Smoya, this is Wilson. Uh, Wilson? Yeah. How do you feel? I'm okay. My leg. You were hit? Yeah, yeah. Should have left me. Huh? It was an order. Why, you gotta learn discipline. Wish I had left you. He has need of medicine. He don't need nothing. Who's that? I don't know. Who are you? I'm called Yi Wong Song. What do you want? I knew you would come. What do you mean? My people have great need of you. Now, wait a minute, Pop. We're just You a... are American? Well, yeah, but... That is all. What do you make of the old goat? I don't know. Where are we, old man? You are on the hill of my ancestors. That's great. Where's that? What do you mean? Well, are we in North Korea, South Korea? Where are we? You are on the hill of my ancestors. See? What are you? Are you North Korean, South Korean? I am Korean. We are all one. There are some who think there is a North and South. That is what you must do. What? Teach my people that we are all one. How are you doing, Lieutenant? Where do you live? On the hill Don't of... start that again. Have you a house? I am building my house. We're moving in, old man. What do you mean? He said we're taking over and you no back... You do me the honor to share my house. Yeah, and we'll also this do you the... This is as I wish. Come. picked the lieutenant up and carried him between us. The old man may have had white hair, but he was strong as an ox. It was tough climbing, and we had to stop and rest three or four times before we reached the top. Finally, the path leveled off, and the old man pointed ahead. There was a small hut made of stones piled on top of one another. A bomb crater was alongside the hut, and one whole wall had been knocked over. The thatched roof had been burned off. But I could see where the old man had started to rebuild the wall, and half of a new roof was already in place. 
We carried the lieutenant inside, and the old man went to work in his leg. He seemed to know what he was doing, so I just sat and watched. While he was working, the old man talked. They came on the holy day with our guns and their trucks, and the people in the village ran from their homes. Where's the village? It may be seen from the hill. I told the people that you would come, but they did not listen. Look, Pop, you got the wrong... Shut up, Wilson. But I... Shut up. Go on, Pop. I didn't mean to sound off. Now there is no one in the village, and I am alone. Where's your family? Sinko and Sunmin lie with their ancestors. The others have gone. You mean they left you? It was as I wished. Someday this will be gone. I must build again the home of my ancestors. Means a lot to you, huh? The hill is the home of my ancestors. For more years than there are flowers in the valley. Hey, t take it easy. There is pain. Yeah. This too will be gone. How long will it take? Two days, three days, you will walk. I go for water. I'll get it for you, Pop. This Pop, what does it mean? Well, I... Nothing. I will go, my son. Huh. What do you think, Smoy? I think we'll be all right here till I'm well enough to travel. Yeah. He's a pretty right guy. Who, the old man? Yeah. You didn't go for all that flowers and ancestor stuff. He really believes we're here to straighten this all out. Yeah, how? They can shoot at us and we can't even shoot back. I don't think he's so interested in the shooting part of it. Maybe he isn't, but I am. Look, Wilson, we're not going to let that old guy down. Speak for yourself, John. Listen to me, Sergeant. You listen to me. I'm sick of listening to you. It's time you listen to me. I told you not to go in that town, but you didn't. We had to run away from a tank. I told you we was going the wrong way when we got up in these hills, but you knew what you were doing. We got pinned down by a gang of trigger-happy jerks. Well, that ain't my way to fight a war. Why should I stick my neck out for that old goat when guys back in the States are taking off for a Sunday night date and don't even know there's a war going on? The whole thing's screwy. Sergeant? Sergeant, you listen to me, Shavetail. He don't owe me nothing, and I owe him the same. Yeah, I know. You're going to throw the book at me when we get back. Maybe we won't ever get back. Until we do, we're just a couple of Joes. No more bars, no more stripes, just a couple of Joes, see? You do what you want, I'm going to do what I want to. And if that means shooting my way out, that's what I'm going to do. Clear? If I had two good legs, I'd get up and beat your face in. I don't think you would. You, you must hide. They're coming. Who's coming? The men from the north. How many? Two, three. I did not stop. We can handle them. You crazy. If they find us here, they'll come back and blow the old man's house clean off the map. And the hill with it. That's his worry. Get down behind that bed, Smoy. You go out and talk to him, Pop. They poke their noses inside that door. I'm going to let him have it. Now, get going. I do not understand. Go on out and talk to him. That's all. Yes, yes, my son. Don't do it, Wilson. Shut up. There they are. I'm not going to let you. Shut up and watch that door. I'm not going to let you. spun around like it had come unhinged, and then everything blurred like ink on a blotter. I tried to say something, but my tongue was a wad of cotton in my mouth. Then there was nothing. The next thing I knew, my mouth was full of water, and I was gasping for air. Someone was hitting my face, and Wilson. way off I could hear my name. Wilson, open your name. eyes. Air. Come on. Name. Air. Come on, Wilson, air. open your eyes. Uh, uh. Come on, Wilson. Uh, what happened? I hit you with my forty-five. Yeah? Keep them open? Yeah. Hurry up. Got to get you up on your feet. What's the matter? They're coming back. What? When I hit you, you yelped. He is better, yes. Yeah. What happened to those jokers? You scared them off, but they're coming back. Whole company of them. You okay? Yeah. On your feet? Yeah. The old man's going to show us the way down out of here. Come. You know me, Smoyer. Thanks. Where's my gun? I've got it. Still a lieutenant. Come, this is the path. Too late? Yeah. How about the other path? Oh, they're over there, too. Looks like this is it. Yes. Let's get back to the hut. We'll make them work for it. No. What do you mean, no? We'll give ourselves up. You're going to start that again? Okay. You've got about two minutes to make up your mind. No. Give me my gun. No. Why, you jerk, you... Uh, huh? Plane. Must think this is a big deal. Yeah. Men, machine guns, planes for what? A second lieutenant and a lousy sergeant. Go on, you dirty... Hey, wait a minute. What? That's a yank plane. Huh? It's one of ours. It is. Let him have it, baby. Give it to him. Show him how it. Hey. What? 
You know what that means? Well, it means this is a shooting war. Yeah. Give me that gun. Let's go. Get out of the way, Pop. Look at them run. Go on, you lily-livered devils. Come on down the path. Stay with us, Pop. Keep firing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We started down the path shooting as we went. Then all of a sudden, there was nothing to shoot at. We could hear the small arms crackling and the planes diving on the other side of the hill, but our side was clear. The old man half carried the lieutenant to the bottom, and then he led us along in the path through the brush. Finally, we'd come out in a little clearing by a river. There was a boat pulled up on the bank. The river flows to the south. It will take you to your friends. You're coming too, ain't you? No, my son. But I thought that... I must return to the hill of my ancestors. Well, I'll Sergeant. Be... Yes, sir. Thank you, old man. It is I who thank you. My people believe what your nation has told them. They are strong because of their faith in what you say. We will wait for your return. Goodbye, my son. Goodbye, old man. Come on, Sergeant. What's the matter, Sergeant? Keep paddling. Yeah. Yeah. They zeroed the hill. Keep paddling. No house at all. Can't see the old guy. He won't be waiting for us then. But we'll be back. May take time, old man. We'll be back. A story of one of the one thrilling moment in a man's life that can only be called High Adventure. And heard in the hill as Dave Wilson was Jack Orison with Jim Stevens, Al Patterson, and Jim Bowles. And next week, High Adventure friends, we're proud to present a story of a man who faced death in the white heat of a baseball diamond. We like to call it the Greenfield Boy. So until next week, and the Greenfield Boy... Look around you wherever you are. Watch it, but don't live it. This thing we call High Adventure. Remember next week, The Greenfield Boy, a high adventure story of action, which combined with Big Guy following immediately over most of these stations forms a full hour of mystery and adventure over NBC each week at this time. So stay with us now for Big Guy. Kay Armand sings some of your favorites tonight on NBC.